Stacey Stevens. I am co-founder, executive vice president, and chief client officer at Nightscope. Uh, Nightscope is a technology company focused on public safety and uh, using robotics, artificial intelligence, and self-driving technology to kind of make places safer. So maybe a little bit of history uh, to, as to how we got to where we are today. Uh, back in 2012, we're all familiar with what happened at uh, Sandy Hook. Uh, when Sandy Hook happened, uh, we happened to be watching what was going on. I'm a former police officer myself, so kind of saw everything unfolding through the eyes of an, of an officer. And uh, when we saw that, you know, that's not, an, unfortunately, an unusual circumstance. That just happened to be one that captured the country's attention. And uh, what we want to do is create a way that we can bring an event like that to a conclusion much faster. And the only way to do that is through some form of eyes and ears. So if we can create a platform upon which we can place different types of sensors and surveillance technologies, then we can use that to be able to give officers like myself or security professionals uh, the tools that they need to make smarter, safer, faster decisions. So fast forward to kind of where we are today, we deployed our first robot back in uh, 2015 in a uh, public place. Uh, we have since kind of spread across the entire country from Hawaii to New York. Uh, and we've kind of covered all the breadth, but you know what we're here to talk about today is healthcare, and healthcare happens to be one of our largest growing segments. So, uh, a lot of hospitals, a lot of healthcare facilities are using the technology to kind of use it as a layer on the outside of a building to kind of help protect uh, those that are inside. We all know the problem that healthcare is facing. It's a hotbed of activity. You've got people who are coming in who've committed crimes who are needing to be operated on, and the emergency rooms are, are absolutely full of people uh, who either themselves have committed some kind of crime or the people that are with them have committed some kind of crime. So, and it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, a shooting or anything like that. It could be domestic violence. And then you have somebody who's a domestic abu abuser who's there. Uh, and unfortunately, the healthcare workers themselves become the targets uh, because they're the ones who are trying to save lives. And so having additional technologies there to help protect them and let them do their job so that we can have safer uh, hospitals is absolutely critical. Uh, how we go about doing that, I mean, if you can imagine walking up to a hospital or driving into a parking lot and seeing a robot that's emblazoned with security or police in some cases, uh, that's going to get somebody's attention and they're going to be thinking, oh my God, look at how they're uh, protecting me. And uh, it's going to make it a much safer place to go. So the Nightscope uh, security robots actually patrol around a given area. So think of it like a playground. Uh, they'll operate within that given space and they will patrol just like a security officer would, except they don't get bored. Uh, they actually are very diligent, show up to work on time, and they do their job. But that's the boring routine, uh, boring, monotonous type of activities that you want to give to a robot so that the humans can, are freed up to do strategic or empathetic or even sympathetic uh, type work. And so putting a robot outside uh, to help protect the perimeter, the parking lots, uh, and then also being able to put one inside uh, to keep an eye on things that are going on inside. Uh, it's absolutely a fantastic way of layering in another type of technology. Uh, from a capability, features and capability standpoint, 360 degree 4K video, two-way audio. So the robots do speak. They actually will engage people. Uh, people can push an intercom button and talk through the robot to somebody in the security operations center. Uh, we have license plate recognition for the parking lots. So we can look for known threats. <clears throat> a known threat can be a terminated employee, somebody to whom you've already issued a criminal trespass warning, or like I said before, those domestic abusers, you know, employees, unfortunately, uh, are attacked in their place of employment. That's the number one cause of, of workplace violence is domestic violence creeping into the workplace. So another way of, of protecting them. Uh, signal protection for mobile devices. So if you come within 400 feet of the robot and you've got your mobile device on you, we're going to be able to capture publicly available information like the device type, the manufacturer of the device, uh, MAC address of the device, when it entered the area, left the area, the dwell time, and how close it was to the robot at the time of the detection. 
Um, and you combine all of those things together, and now you have a very robust surveillance tool to be able to keep places safer. The robots are only one aspect of what we deliver. You know, we I put this together, I say I, we put this together as a service uh, because Security is one of those things that is an unfortunate, necessary evil. It's it's typically not something that people look at as a way to generate revenue or uh, to make themselves look better. But if you think about, you know, in the healthcare community, your HCAP scores, those are very important to be able to have something uh, there to be able to say, listen, we're taking care of you guys and we want to make sure patient satisfaction and uh, our healthcare provider satisfaction is at the very top of our game.